What's up, Jerome, Russell, Capricorn? What's poppin', y'all? What's poppin'? What's up, sweet tea? How y'all doing? What's going on with it? Hi, blessed Scorpio. How you doing? What's up, Donna? How you guys' night going so far? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Gratitude. Hey, Camilla. Hey, Amanda. What's up, guys? Tap the screen when you come in for me, please. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hi, JST. What's up, Catherine? Hey, Hannah. Gratitude, Scorpio. Gratitude. Thank you. Whew. Thank you for tapping the screen. It's much appreciated. So I'm going to do a collective reading for... Um, Leo for all the fire signs and for all the let's see what 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 are the stuff I want to do all the sign other other all the fire signs and the water signs period air don't get much love over here but you know we might we might get into some air later on but right now I'm focused on um leo aries and sagittarius and then i'm gonna get into um pisces cancer and scorpio i leave yeah tap the screen screen for me guys period Aquarius, period. What's up, Aquarius? What's up, Aqua? Aries. I see you. So, I'm going to get into the fire signs first. If you guys want to stick around, cool. If you're not a fire sign and you, you have fire in your chart, like it's going to be for um, if you're fire sign, if you're a fire sign, moon, sun, rising, etc. All right? So, it's still, it still applies. You know what I mean? What's up, stink? <laughs> so I'm going to do fire signs first. And then I'm going to do water signs. And then possibly um, air signs. If I have enough time. Okay. Tap the screen for me, guys. <clears throat> so it's going to be for Leo, Aries, Sagittarius and yeah leo aries sagittarius if you have a sun moon rising in either of these signs these messages will apply to you okay take what fits all right leave the rest for somebody else all right so let's get into it do me a favor as you guys are in here please tap the screen it really helps me out a lot with engagement so we'll get into it and then after i do the readings I will answer yes or no questions for free if you would like a um, one question full reading it is ten dollars okay so guys feel free to stick around come back whatever it doesn't matter to me all right let's get into it so let's see what the spirit has for Leo Sagittarius and Aries 
Okay, I call my angels and ancestors and spirit guys to ask you to cover me, protect me, keep me safe, cover the collective as well, and any hijacking spirits that are meaning to cough me any delays or any inconveniences, please send them back to hell. Ashe. Cover me and protect me. Ashe. We can hear the messages clearly and precisely. Ashe. All right, let's go for the fire signs. All right, let's see what we got for the fire signs. Gratitude for the love, you guys. So if you're new here, we're doing fire signs right now. So Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, all right? Let's see what collective message the spirit has for Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, okay? <coughs> mm, interesting. All right. So, so we have the cosmic power out here, okay? All right. As the minds of the reading. Then we have pleasure out here for tenets as the body of the reading. And then we have grief out here for the soul, okay? All right. So what I'm getting here, collective fire signs, is that you are coming into a full awareness of yourself, okay? This is a pivotal time for you. I'm getting a, a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo that has gone through a significant amount of trouble, a significant amount of hardship, a significant amount of uh, maybe the last season of your life was a season where was just a, a transitional season where you were coming through to learn something, okay? I'm also getting uh, uh, some fire signs that were in a period, if you know anything about the story of Job, right? I'm getting some fire signs that were feeling like Job, okay? Job was a disciple of God and he really loves God, but God allowed the devil to interject himself into Job's life and test him heavily. And I'm getting a bunch of fire signs that were tested heavily in the last season, okay? All right, but... I'm getting you guys have just come out of that season of being tested. I'm getting a, a few Aries, Leos, and Sagittarius who have um, passed every test so far. You have remained obedient. You have remained steadfast. You have listened to your experience and your guidance um, thus far. I'm getting that it was a hard period for you, but you stay connected to your divine self. You stay connected to your higher self. You stay connected to God, okay? I'm getting also that you were in a shadow period. There was a lot of things that you uncovered about yourself that you didn't quite know that you needed healing in, okay? And the, the, the healing came from some people that entered your life, okay? I'm getting um, some fire signs that met some people that weren't so good for them. So you could have met like a boyfriend or girlfriend or someone that you dealt with in the past, a lover, a friend, whatever, or even a family member, somebody that re really triggered you to, into an, an awakening, all right? I'm also hearing this is the last test. This is the last test, okay? You may have felt like this was the last test. Like, like, damn, God really put me through the ringer this time. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this, this feel, I can't go through no more. This must be it. Like, you know what I mean? I'm getting some fire signs that feel like that, okay? Um, and you're like, damn, after this shit, this gotta be, this gotta be like the, the push towards my, towards my divine inheritance, towards my divine, you know, my divine purpose. Like this gotta be it. Okay. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is it. Okay. This is what the spirit is saying. This is it. You passed the test there. You have been through a series of tests in every season. And this last season was your, was your final season. Okay. Before you're about to reach this pinnacle, this, this 10 of pinnacles in which you've been looking for your whole life. Okay. They put you through this test because you needed to be tested where you have to go and where you're going it required a, 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 a heavy amount of spiritual warfare. It required you to be put through the ringer. It required you to be going through like a, 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 a 
an amount of spiritual school like you had to go through the ultimate to get to where you need to go because your purpose is great your divine purpose is amazing like you needed to be tested in every which way possible so that there could be no there could be no like because where you're going okay where you're going it requires you be you to be prepared fully it requires you to ha not have any detachment attachments it requires you not to have any connections to your shadow side it requires you to be one with self it requires you to not take anything personal it requires you for your heart to be open and full it requires you to have a full awareness of self it requires you not to take anything personal it requires you to have healed those childhood wounds and things that you have gone through it requires that it requires full reflection and you have gone through that last season and that last season was heavy on you but the reason it was heavy on you because where you're going you're gonna be a teacher you're gonna be somebody that's like a role model okay and if you know anything about leadership okay everybody's not called cool to lead okay Aries Sagittarius Leo everybody's not called cool to lead but you called cool to lead and a leader has to sit up here okay but in order for a leader to sit up here they have to have went through every aspect of school there is all right and they must have passed the test and so in in the last season of your life um collective you you were thinking like i know this can't be it. i know i don't deserve this i know like what is what is happening and you were being molded you were being prepared you were being shaped you were being transitioned because you were being prepared for this mission that you were about to go on all right you needed to go through every part of this school you you needed to go through every part of this school so that when you go to teaching and you go to guiding and you go to helping other people you know from experience how it feels to climb out of these of these depths you know what i mean like you can't teach about it if you don't know about it you can't teach about it if you ain't been there before and you gotta have experience so so god had to give you experience that's what it was and this is your season leo um sagittarius aries fire signs this is your season okay we got tanned out here for pleasure all right this is your time to receive pleasure i know the the last couple seasons may have felt like oh damn this is nothing but spiritual warfare this is nothing but fucking problems this is nothing but issues this is nothing but roadblock after roadblock after roadblock but you passed the test okay um you're finna receive pleasure okay fire signs like this is gonna be your season where you finna spin bags like you know what i mean like can't nobody touch you in this season all right this is a season of luxury for you that's what i'm getting fire signs a season of luxury a season of divine pleasure a season of love a season of abundance a season a season of prosperity okay but I'm also getting that some 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 of you fire signs are in this grief energy where you're grieving your old self. It's like a lot of you. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of fire signs looking back. 33 people in here. Confirmation. I'm seeing a lot of you guys looking back, right? I'm seeing a lot of you guys just like, damn, this is how far I came. Like, I'm also seeing a lot of you guys feeling nostalgic about your childhood, feeling nostalgic. Like, there's a lot of you guys who have been tapping heavily into childhood memories where you kind of been been reminiscing about things that that have happened in your childhood not necessarily bad memories but like good things that used to make you feel in alignment with your childhood self like your inner child what makes what used to make your inner child happy okay so there's a lot of people in the collective right now for the fire signs that have been looking back at their little child self and like yeah i remember i used to play with them barbies i remember i used to look out my window i remember i used to you know be in my room and da 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 da, da. you guys are having fond memories of your childhood and this is because you're having like a life review of your whole life because you're about to enter your season of divine power of divine alignments okay all right this is a pivotal point in your life so now you're having like a um like a life review almost you're looking at your teenage self you're looking at your childhood self you're looking at your your young adult self and you're looking back at all those aspects of you and how far you've come and you're having fond memories of that and you're like damn i really did come a long way wow i really i can't believe this is this is my life like i really can't believe like i really went through this you know what i mean but it's fond memories that's what i'm seeing 
okay but there's a little bit of sadness and grief behind this because um you are grieving your old self it's like a version of you that you don't quite know yet but you're trying to get to know okay you shouldn't be sad about this It's always sad when we align with different versions of ourselves that we don't know yet, right? What's up, What's up, Aubrey? What's up, y'all? Tap the screen for me, y'all. Yo! <laughs> What's poppin'? Um, yeah, for sure. All right, then we got dreams out here, right? We got dreams. So, I'm, so, so listen, you guys are standing in your power. I'm also seeing some, some fire signs that have been tapping into um, spirituality. I'm seeing some fire signs that have been talking heavily to their ancestors, praying. I'm seeing some fire signs that have been getting their spiritual house in order, okay? A lot of you guys are letting go of the past, letting go of, of old people, old problems, old issues old mindsets you you guys are cleaning house it's spring right now you guys are, are cleaning house okay you you there's a lot there's a lot of fire signs who just cut some people off like out of nowhere like you was just like what's up Tyshawn? hey it's a lot of you guys that have been cutting some people off lately you just cut them off you just say you know what i don't want these people in my life no more cut i, I don't want this person in my life no more cut like i don't want no i don't want these people no more all right, you guys have been letting go of people, places, and things that no longer serve you, okay? And you you haven't been sad about it, all right? You're being ruthless about this shit. Why? Because you feel like it ha this is your time. Like, you got to stop playing with your potential, okay? I'm getting some fire signs that are really geared up. They really amped up. They really hyped up about where they're going because they feel it in the ethers. You feel it in the ethers. Like, it's something around the corner for me. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Like, you know what I mean? There's some fire signs out there. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius that are feeling that they're, something's coming. They don't know what it is quite yet. They don't know what it is quite yet, but it's coming. All right? That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Am I doing free readings today? Um, yeah, a little bit later. Right now, I'm doing the signs. I'm doing fire signs right now. What's up, Kimmy? So yeah, fire signs, it's, it's, this is a good season for y'all. I'm so happy that y'all are in this energy. Y'all letting go, y'all having courage, okay? Y'all letting go, y'all having courage, okay? For the 30. Hey, Kimmy, I'm doing fire signs right now. You'll have to wait a second, my love. Okay? Um, But yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. Um, Leo Sagittarius you guys are in a season of abundance you guys are in a season of pleasure it's like your season of luxury you finna hit like I'm getting some fire signs that's finna hit like coming to an abundance of money coming to an abundance of prosperity like it's gonna come out of nowhere like I'm telling you it's some of y'all that's that can feel that it's gonna come out of nowhere you know what I mean y'all dreams are coming true I'm getting so some fire signs too here that you're gonna be reminded that miracles are real okay the spirit is going to remind you that miracles are real miracles are going to happen for you okay all right i'm so happy for y'all aries leo and sag i'm so happy for y'all y'all deserve this y'all really do like y'all coming into some 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 divine abundance and and i'm really ecstatic for y'all because y'all deserve it Y'all been doing y'all been doing some good work. Y'all have been tapping in with y'allself. Y'all been lining yourselves up. Y'all been tapping in with the spirit. So the spirit is finna reward you heavily, okay? Yeah. Yeah, these miracles are coming out of nowhere. Fire signs. The the spirit is finna remind you that miracles are real. Like. Period. Leo gang. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so we got the Eight of Cups out here, Seven of Wands, the Knight of Cups. 
so let me let me just show y'all real quick we got the eight of cups okay we got the seven of wands there you go got the knight of cups okay and we got the ace of wands let's get that and we got the nine of pentacles all right so there's some 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 fire signs that are um some fire signs that are walking away from people places and things okay all right you're walking away from people things places and things i'm also getting some fire signs that are moving away like you're you're deciding to move away like there's some of you guys who relocating to different states all right different states different countries a different continent okay some of y'all some of y'all y'all just say fuck this shit i'm starting all over <laughs> like i'm starting all over but my life can't be here okay my life is probably in another country okay there's some of y'all that's that's in there yo fred green get the fuck out of my comments bro this ain't the place for you okay my nigga go go somewhere and feed your demons okay come on so anyways it's some of y'all that's finna go to another country to another state some of y'all that's thinking about leaving things behind okay because you're like this can't be my life no more my life gotta be in another state all right all right i'm seeing y'all i'm also seeing some fire signs that are being heavily judged by their family members like there's some fire signs that are taking a different route than anybody in their life has taken before so if you are a fire sign that is into esoterics or divination or anything like that you're just into something different there's you having a lot of judgment and a lot of criticism behind what you want to do in life people are not really look they're not really looking upon what you want to do in a very good light okay so you're kind of just like fuck all y'all fuck all y'all i'm gonna do what i want to do okay that's what i'm getting so yeah you're just leaving people behind that don't support you there's a lot of people who don't support you and they're they're saying bad things about what you want to do because they don't quite understand you and they're trying to put doubt on you that's what i'm seeing there's a lot of people who've been trying to speak doubt over your over your um over your dreams over your desires because it doesn't necessarily align with the matrix like they're like mm, who does who does terror readings um who does da 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 because you guys might be into something different like you could be wanting to be a book you could be wanting to write a book or become an entrepreneur and there's people in your life that are judging you like who who wants to do that you should just go work a regular job you should just do x y and z like i'm getting there's people that are speaking ill over your dreams and goals okay they're saying that you're gonna have a natural re a natural disaster but they don't realize that you you used to taking risk there's no reward without risk okay and at fire times I'm, I'm getting that you're not afraid you're not afraid to take this risk you're not afraid to travel to the next country you're not afraid to travel to that next city you're not afraid to find your life in another place completely away from these motherfucking people okay and if you've been thinking about it the spirit is saying go do it this is your chance this is your confirmation go do it don't allow these people to speak fear over you because they've been speaking of fear over you i'm getting a mother figure that has been speaking fear over somebody like oh i would never do that at that age you should just do x y and z and there's also a mother figure that's been heavily projecting onto you they want you to do what they want you to do but they ain't never even do that shit okay they trying to live vicariously through you that's what it is all right we got this what's up Devin? We got natural disaster out here. They're, they're speaking ill over your dreams and goals. They're talking about, this is not going to pan out. This is not going to work. This is not going to Fire signs, don't listen to people that, that try to speak fear into you. The only reason they're speaking fear into you is because they didn't got enough courage to do it themselves. Okay? You walking away. You doing what your, what your spirit tells you to do. Okay? That's what it is. We also got the seven of wands out here. Um... 
The seven, period. The seven of wands is telling you to persevere. All right. Maintain control. Make, maintain control over your, over your goal, over your destiny. Don't allow anyone to speak fear into you. Keep pushing forward. Okay. The more you persevere, the more closer you get to your goals. Okay. That's just what it is. Period. Don't allow these people to destroy your confidence. These people are trying to tear you down. They're really jealous of you. No lie. They're really jealous of you. They're on some shit like you doing something different. You doing, you know what it is? It's the fact that they don't, they never see nobody do what you, what you about to do and succeed, but they don't realize that it was for you anyway. It wasn't for them. There's a reason you got the idea. There's a reason spirit gave you the download. There's a reason that you started to move on it. That's just what it is. Okay. Don't allow these people to destroy your confidence. Because there's a lot of people in your ear right now trying to destroy your confidence. And not only that, two fire signs. I'm getting that there are spiritual attacks being done on you. Okay? So, uh, again, fire signs. You could have been seeing, like, you could have been having dreams. Like, astral travels. Like, there's been heavy energy right now with astral traveling. So, uh, people from your past probably are astral, astral traveling into your dreams. Into your, your subconscious. So, if you are, if you are seeing people actual travel from your past uh, in your dreams lately they've just been trying to get you to go backwards okay yeah so there are spirits th there are people that are trying to get into your energy because they know that you are about to make a big come up to so the enemy when the enemy when the enemy sees that you're about to rise and you're about to step into your divine purpose oh they're gonna attack you they're gonna attack you heavily all right persevere remain steadfast stay prayed up you know charge your crystals do whatever you do okay because right now is not the time to get lazy about your spiritual protection all right because you're about to enter a season of goodness also i'm getting fire signs you need to be careful of who you talk to about your plans be 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 very specific about who you talk to about your plans because there are people listening that don't want it to go to that don't want it to go through all right all right there are also people plotting against you in the spirit people that you haven't met yet all right also be careful of new people what's up jay berry be careful of new people that are entering your life at this time okay these people are not who you think they are all right a lot of times when we're aligned with our divine purpose and we're on the path that we're supposed to be on and we feel that there's something good in the ethers that's about to come through because fire signs y'all feel like oh i feel like something's good coming in yeah it is you're about to get a whole bunch of abundance right prosperity it's on the way but a lot of times when you start feeling that good feeling of things just gonna align and like you're gonna be in that energy of like coasting and feeling free um the enemy get the call too hello yeah this one finna finna align with their purpose and shit yeah they, they finna come up yeah it's time it's time to put some roadblocks in place it's time to send some motherfuckers that 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 look like the people they used to deal with in disguise yeah so be careful of who you meet and that's new because these people got the same spirit on them that these old people that you done got rid of in the past that you worked so hard to get away from these people got the same spirit on them all right so be easy spirit just gonna try to trip you up the closer you get to your divine purpose okay so be easy fire signs so then we got the knight of cups right got the knight of cups out here right i showed you guys earlier the knight of cups um some of you guys could be feeling like a little moody and disappointed that things aren't going as fast as you thought it was gonna go but it's going as fast as the spirit it wants to wants it to okay don't don't ever try to rush the spirit along all right everything is happening in, in divine alignment and divine timing so don't ever try to do this okay Hmm. Interesting. I'm also too getting that if you have been feeling moody or like out of sorts lately, fire signs, that this is an indication that there is someone. What's up, Frosted Flakes? Frosted Flakes with bananas. <laughs> I feel that. What's up? Um, I'm also getting fire signs too that there's there's people. Um, remember when I said there are people plotting on you? Um. I'm getting too that there's some family members or somebody in the background 
that are trying to do some sort of ritual but also i'm getting to if that you've been feeling moody or disappointed it's not your energy all right so if you've been feeling like out of sorts like not really yourself it's not true it's 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 negative entities it's negative energy being projected your way from people who don't really like you like that there's also somebody that's watching you fire signs online so if you have a public platform there are people from your your past that are watching you like like stalking you online these people are sending you negative energy. So if you find yourself having a short temper, being a little angry, a little moody, this is not your energy. This is these people's energy. All right. They're trying to send this energy to you because they're upset that you're, that you're elevating, that you're growing, that you're flowing, that you're becoming one with yourself. Okay. Fire signs. So I don't know. Look through your list. See who, who don't belong and block their ass. Period block the ass okay but yeah it's somebody that's just sending negative negativity your way i don't know who y'all dealing with but it's somebody that's sending negativity your way in the ethers you know what i mean what's up son 731 it's somebody that's sending you negativity it's not your energy that's not you not feeling moody and disappointed because of you it's somebody else sending that energy towards you okay so if you've been feeling like this, a little off, a little lethargic, a little tired, it's not your energy, okay? Learn how to transmute this energy. Understand what is your energy and what is not your energy so that you can get it out, you know? Yeah, this is not true. It's somebody projecting onto you in the ether, so right? Gratitude. Tap the screen for me, y'all. So then we got the Ace of Wands out here, all right? Again, like I was saying before. Okay, Kukimopar. Yeah, there's somebody out here with a lack of energy. So, fire signs, if you've been having a lack of energy, you've been feeling lethargic, this is not you. I'm also getting that this is a person that you used to deal with. So, fire signs, if you had just left a person like that you was in a relationship with, or somebody that you was in a marriage with, or somebody that you was dating seriously and you're not with them anymore, this person's thinking about you heavily, and they're sending this negative energy your way. So, this it's their energy that you're feeling. It's not yours. All right. So if you feel like you don't have a, if you're not feeling like a, if you're feeling a lack of passion towards your goals at this time, um, I need you to fight that energy. Okay. Cause it's not yours. So if all of a sudden you have been, for example, if all of a sudden you feel like you don't want to get up out of bed, you don't want to pursue your goals you don't want to go to the gym you don't want to make your food like you don't want to do x y and c this is not your energy okay fire signs this is this person that you was with or this person that you was you know sleeping with i don't know somebody that you was with and they sending this energy your way okay so ixnay ixnay on that energy all right yeah, it was somebody that you was married to, or somebody. What's up, Jamie? It's somebody that you was married to, all right? Somebody that you was in a relationship with. Somebody somebody that, that, that wants you back. Somebody that wants that old thing back, okay? So they trying to project on to you so, they, so that you feel what they feeling. But it's not you, okay? So then we got the Nine of Pentacles, okay? So, the Nine of Pentacles just represents fruits of labor, um, rewards, luxury. All right. Now, then we got it aspecting it, the overload card. So, a lot of you guys might be feeling overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with the amount of information that you're getting. What's up, Latanya? You might be feeling overwhelmed with the amount of information that you're getting from the spirit. Okay? With the amount of responsibility that you're getting. I'm also getting that there are some people... <clears throat> excuse me there are some people in the ethers what's up Tr what's up renee hey girl there's some people in the in the energy right now in the collective energy that are feeling like overload overload what's up unspoken dialogue there are some people that are feeling overload you're feeling like overwhelmed with the amount of responsibility that you're getting okay what's up yeah dude this is the thing right the spirit is blessing you in a way that you have never been blessed with before there are miracles on the way right but what i'm saying is when more 
comes more responsibility and you guys might be feeling a little overwhelmed with this responsibility but just understand that, that this is what you pray for this is what you wanted this is what you, you ask god for this is what you wanted but just know that with more comes more responsibility so this is why you were tried and tested in the first place you were prepared for this so never don't ever start getting in your head like oh i can't handle this like oh my god this is too much remember the seasons that you came out of you was t you was tested you was tried people try to swear on your name people try to throw witchcraft at you people try to throw everything in the book at you so you would give up but you ain't give up you ain't fold you ain't you ain't fumble you stayed the course and so because you stayed the course remember that's experience all right so don't ever get in your head about oh i don't know if i can handle this i don't know this is too much you asked for this you was prepared for it that's why you here now okay so there's some of y'all that's just feeling like overloaded okay that's your that's your vessel feeling overloaded okay that's not you though remember we we, we spirit first you know we're just you we're just spirits here having a human experience babes you feel me? The human experience is, is secondary. You was already prepared for this. So it's it's the human vessel. It's the avatar. It's the physical body that may be feeling overloaded because the spirit is like, hold on. I got this. Don't allow your physical vessel to trick you into believing that you wasn't designed for this shit because the spirit can hold whatever. It, the spirit can hold whatever. Okay? Gratitude, y'all. The spirit can hold whatever it was designed for that spirit is everlasting so yeah it's a lot of y'all getting inside y'all body some of y'all might need to go to the gym some of y'all might need to gain balance that's what i'm getting too there's a lot of y'all who have the balance spiritually but y'all don't got the balance physically and y'all need to understand that just as much as the as the spiritual body makes sense the fucking mind has to do make sense the fucking the physical gotta make sense okay y'all gotta be doing mind body spirit work all the time it cannot be it cannot be one third of this one third of that one fourth of this one fifth of that it can't be like that okay the way you stay in alignment is by yin and yang duality okay come on now y'all need to be going to the gym and if y'all not going to the gym y'all need to be y'all need to be walking uh, 30 minutes a day y'all need to be doing something with your physical vessel because what y'all don't realize is that the spirit yeah it could hold a lot for sure but 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 the physical vessel is how you get shit done how you gonna get shit done if your body is not if your body can't receive it your body gotta make it work here in the physical realm right so whatever you receive from the spirit your body it, it has to pass through and you have to make it work with the physical body now if 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 your if your chakras are blocked and your chakras are not lined up and your chakras are are, are fucking need of release of energy right how, how how we finna do this we finna hit more delays because the physical body is not transferring that energy out no you gotta work on that shit you get what i'm saying that mental stuff too that mindset that you need to have for every day getting up doing what you got to do that mindset got to change too it got it got to change from a mindset of of lack and scarcity to a mindset of abundance and flow okay come on stop playing with stop playing with your potential like you guys is it you know what i'm saying fire signs like stop acting like y'all don't y'all not the ones all right y'all the ones not the twos all right what i'm saying y'all gotta keep this shit in alignment just as well as the, the spirit is, is is important so is the mind about the, the mind and the body the physical aspect this is not a game okay <sighs> gratitude now let me see what's the story about um sagittarius aries and leo let's see what this story is hitting for because there's some of y'all that's got a specific story Okay. 
Hello, Jewel. Hello. I didn't do water signs yet, my love. I was doing fire signs right now. Hey, Pamela. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a safe space. You're free to stay. I am doing fire signs at this time. Gratitude for the love. All right, let's get into what's going on with you, fire signs, because I got to see. I got to see what the fuck is happening. <laughs> let's see. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> it's an interesting story. Here, fire signs. Okay. Let's see. All right. So, we have official person out here. Okay, fire signs. Official person. Official person just represents someone of high ranking, someone that is trying to deliver a message, someone that's coming through, someone's covering you. Okay. So, fire sign, I'm getting that somebody had been trying to attack your money in the last six to eight months to a year. So, you could have been stagnant in money. You could have been like, oh, where's my money at? Like, I'm also getting some fire signs that were very abundant before, but all of a sudden, your money, your money flow kind of like halted and stopped. Okay. Yeah. Like, it was hard for you to gain abundance. Okay. And you know why? This is because somebody was working against you in the spirit. There was somebody that was playing on your money. Somebody that was playing on your, on your, on your finances, on your abundance. Okay, there's somebody who just didn't want you to have anything. I'm also getting fire signs as somebody that you was dealing with, like a man or a woman that you were sleeping with that you're no longer sleeping with, that was um, that just didn't like you like that no more. I'm also getting that this person was kind of narcissistic, narcissistic tendencies. Okay. This also can have been somebody that you was giving to, like um, somebody that you was supplying, like like somebody that you was feeding. Like this person could have been somebody that you was physically feeding. Okay, um, or feeding off your energy too. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, this person was like a energy vampire. It was feeding off your energy. Okay. Yeah. So again, this negative person that you were dealing with, fire signs, this person was causing you to lose out on money. Lose out on abundance. Okay. What's up, April? This person was causing you to lose out on abundance. Okay. This person was also trying to make you feel inadequate. They were speaking bad on you. Okay. This person was emotionally abusive. Okay. This person wasn't very nice to you. Unfortunately, this this wrecks your self, self, um, self esteem. Okay. Yeah, we have the marionette card out here too. You see that? And then we have the gift card. The gift card um, represents abundance. Okay. So there's a gift that you could have been waiting on, but you felt like it's being it was being held up. Okay, the reason it was being held up is because you was dealing with a person that wasn't good for you at all. Okay, this person you you could have stopped dealing with over a year or two ago or six to eight months ago, but this person, mm -mm. this person was trying to have a hold on your finances. Okay, and I mean that in the in in the in the way of like they were speaking bad on you. This person was wishing ill against you. Even after y'all broke up, okay? I'm also getting, too, that this person was stalking you. If they weren't stalking you in a physical way, they were stalking you online, okay? This person was sending you major evil eye. All right? They didn't want to see you win. And it's also because of rejection. You may have rejected this person and they took it, up. They took it like, all the way left, okay? This really severely impacted your finances, I'm not going to lie to you. And you may just be coming out of a period of stagnation with your finances. Like your finances are probably just now getting better. Okay. 
yeah jewel you said my ex yeah it's, it's either an ex or a current person but i'm not getting current i'm getting ex and this person tried to control you like a dictatorship okay there's been a lot of there's been a lot of energy going on where the divine collective especially women have been affected by um womb stealing okay i've been talking about this a lot on my page okay a lot of you a lot of you guys don't understand especially my women y'all don't understand that a lot of the people you deal with are not human they are they are entities they are warlocks okay you're dealing with people who know who know your womb better than you know okay and so when they're having sex with you they know how to steal from your life force energy to create an abundant life from themselves and they deal with women who are naturally abundant who are naturally attract abundance in their life and they will have sex with you and they unfortunately will steal from your womb okay what's up concrete that's been going on a lot in the ethers lately. So the spirit has been wanting to give you a gift for a long time. But there's a lot of you guys who haven't been um, breaking these soul ties with these old people. And these old people are the reason why you're being held up. Okay. There's somebody out there who needs to do a cord cutting. You need to do a cord cutting. You need to do some sort of return to sender. You need to remove that energy from your womb or your sacral area. Okay, because this person was playing you like a marionette. Okay, this person was using your energy as currency. All right, they were using your energy as currency to create a life for themselves. Okay, and that's why your life was going down here and their life was going up here because it was using your energy. They're not really like that, but they was operating in the world with your energy. That's what it was. You got to call, call your energy back to you. Okay. Somebody said, how do you break soul ties? Well, there's a couple different ways, but the main way to break a soul tie is a lot of a lot of women, okay? You don't know yourself, not through and through. You don't know why you do the things you do. You don't understand why you attract the people you attract. You don't understand your heart. You don't understand a lot of things about yourself. And you don't understand your traumas, okay? You don't understand your daddy issues. You don't understand your mommy issues, and it all starts with self. So the fact is, if anybody's able to latch on to you, that any the any anybody's able to latch on to you, it's because there are holes in your aura, babes. It's holes in your auras, hun. So regardless of the situation, anybody try to prey on you, do whatever they want to you, it's holes in your aura, hun. Like you know what I mean? So Aubrey, my first line of defense, get in touch with self. Get in touch with spirit. Start doing some shadow work. Start realizing why the fuck you attracted these people in the first place. What is what is wrong with me that I'm attracting these people that, that want to steal from me? What is wrong with me that I'm attracting these people that don't like me for real? What is wrong with me that I keep attracting the same spirit in different bodies? And when you get to the deeper root and the core of the issue, then you can realize, oh, wow. In the core of that issue is something rooted probably from your childhood. Your father didn't pay you no attention. So now you seek validation of males who 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 do the same thing. And so they're easy to latch on to you because you're constantly seeking validation. Like you know what I mean? And when you know the core issue of it, you're when you know the core issue of it, everything is going to bust wide open. Bust wide open. And once it's out in the open, once you know, see the any the enemy can only use against you what you do not know. Alright? So you think you're being played on you think your top is being played on your finances is being played on all kinds of shit is being played on it's because you don't know you don't have any awareness you don't the shit the shit is is not evident to you but once you bring it outside and it becomes aware to you the enemy cannot trick you cannot blind you anymore so you're able to see everything you're able to see oh i see how this person's coming i see i see that attack i see this and that and the third and then you're able to break those soul ties. See, a lot of people, they like to do cord cuttings and they like to do returns to senders without having all the, all the knowledge, all the wisdom, without having all the facts. And so how are you going to do a cord cutting? How are you going to do a return to sender if you don't know why you attracted this person in the first place? Because then you end up doing this shit 
and then it's like oh well it's not working it's not working no it's not working because the core issue is still there you still feeling bad for this person you still fit and having memories of this person and like oh we had good times blah 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 no 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 this person tried to try to take you out spiritually try to try to try to steal from your inheritance spiritually this person don't deserve your fucking kindness like you know what i mean you feel what i'm saying to you yeah you get what i'm saying so get to the core issue do some shadow work cut some cords after that you know what i mean like call your energy back but you got to get to the core issue first you could you could do all the core cuttings all the all the spell work all you want you don't know the core issue is gonna keep on happening if it's not gonna be with that person gonna be with the next all right so make yourself aware you know so then we got the journey out here right why do people with heavy legs are do you mean exposed so much is that what you're trying to say tiffany you're most welcome jewel you're most welcome aubrey um what you trying to say my love oh experience so much why do people with heavy light experience so much well, because the light exposes darkness, right? The light exposes darkness, right? And so you ever think to yourself, like, you're going to have to experience both, right? You're going to have to experience both. You're going to have to. You're going to have to. It's, it's no way that you're going to know light without knowing darkness, it's, 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 you're not going to know good without knowing bad. Like, you know what I mean? So both are hand in hand. A lot of people like to think that bad and good are, are different things, but they're the same. They're just viewed from different ends of the spectrum. Okay. That's all. They're on the same end, but one is over here and one is over here. It's just different. It's just different spectrums lighting them up, you know, but you're experiencing that because you can't know one without the other. You get what I'm saying? I'm experience. I'm experiencing the truth since my father's passing. It took a couple years, but I'm changing. I love that for you, April. I love that. I love that for you. Yes, Tiffany. You 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 just can't have one without the other. You can't have one without the other, hun. People with light are illuminators. You are truth seekers. You you expose the truth. Okay, and the way the world get better is when. The light seers and the lights of the world is when you stand in your light and you expose the darkness. Because that's the only way that, that the collective in itself can get better, can heal. You have to expose it. You get what I'm saying? You have to expose it. A lot of a lot of light workers they fear their own light because they've been changed. They've been challenged by life so much. A lot of light workers are so battered and so taken advantage of and so beaten down they're like you're you're in a series of like unfortunate events and you're like man woe is me like i'm just so good and and everything bad just keep on happening to me people just be mean to me and people just do whatever but people are that way to you because you expose their darkness you expose their darkness and you have to call it out you got to be brave enough to call it out that's why you was built like that you know what i mean it seems like most dark spirits are attracted to me. Like it'd be work for me, but help works for me to help others. Absolutely. You have to expose it. Let me tell you something. These, oh, they love a good fight. They love a good fight. What's up, 808? These, they love a good fight. They want to fight the they want to fight the chosen one. They want to fight, they want to fight the light workers. You know why? Because they're they don't got no rank. <laughs> They don't got no rate. They shit. They shit is fugazi. They shit ain't for real. They got false light though, and they'll try to. Oh, this is this is shiny over here. Nah, that shit is not real gold. That shit is not real gold. It's a film over it. It's plated. It's not real. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> but your shit, they betting on you to feel like your shit is fugazi, because hey, I, I, what's up? You know what I mean? But you expose that. They want your energy. Exactly. They want your energy. But guess what? This is why a lot of people, they face demons 
and they be afraid. Let me tell you, demons, they love fear. They love fear. They like when you're afraid. They like when you're scared. They like when you don't know yourself because they don't want you to know that you have more power than them. They don't want you to know that they need a source in order to in order to thrive. You don't need a source. You are a source. So every time you stand up to them and you, you, you don't back down. Oh, that makes them go in the corner. They know who you are. They know your name. They know your name. Trust me. That's why they're attacking you. They know you. They know you. I'm telling you. I know from experience. They, these motherfuckers know you by name. When you have a light. They know you. And then they go telling all the other D friends. Yo, such and such is over here. Go get them. You know why? Because listen. These thrives. They love. They love. Let me tell you. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me wrap my shit real quick. Listen to me. Somebody the other day. One of my clients asked me. The One of my clients asked me. Right? She said. Why do I keep getting tested? Why? Why do I keep getting tested? Why do I keep getting tested? I, I just don't understand. And I said, you know why you keep getting tested? You keep getting tested because at the end of the day, you need to accept your role. You don't accept your role. Instead, a lot of you light workers that are light divine beings that was called here for a higher purpose to call the darkness out. Y'all are sitting in in what was me and people just treat me bad and people just uh why can't it be just, like why can't people just leave me alone you wasn't called for that you was called to be a warrior tried and tested you was prepared for this before you even got here god didn't call you here to be like oh what was me god called you here to stand up in your power and be like yeah motherfuckers gonna attack me for the rest of my life because i'm that bitch they gonna attack me for the rest. I just gotta be prepared. You you one of those. Let me say you something. Light workers are people who have to stay ready, so they don't gotta get ready. I'm telling you, this is a war. You on the front lines. You was born to be on the front lines. You better accept your motherfucking role. Accept your motherfucking role. Period. Accept your role. Accept your role. It's like. Exactly. You're a leader, not a soldier. You're leading the battalion. You're leading. You're in the front. You're in the front. When you're in the front, what do you do? Come on. Accept your role. Like, everybody can't be a leader. Everybody is not called to lead. And when you're called to lead, you must assume the position. You must gain the strength. You must. You must not say why I experienced so much. You must say what is the lesson in this experience and what can I gain from it so I can know how to attack my enemies before they attack me. That's what you must do. Okay? Yeah. End of story. You got to start treating this shit like fucking... Fucking... Um, a video game because that's what it is. A, a video game. That's what it is. You the main character, babes. What's next? What's next? We ready. <laughs> we prepared on these sides. All right. <laughs> you ain't coming for me. Unless I send for you, ho. You will not come for me. Like, come on now. And if you come for me... Listen, the listen, there's booby traps in place for your ass. <laughs> okay. All right, start placing them booby traps and shit. Motherfuckers be thinking they could catch you slipping. Can't catch me slipping. <laughs> you know. So then we got the we got the journey <laughs> exactly, Tiffany. No, I'm a Leo. We got the journey sign out here, right? <laughs> The journey sign is representing a long journey, a long road, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. All my fire signs, y'all have been on a long road. Y'all have been dealing with heavy warfare, heavy, heavy warfare for the last, I don't know, six to eight months. I keep getting six to eight months to a year. All right. For some of y'all, it's been two years. 
all right and again you're just not coming out of it you're just not coming out of this phase of stagnation all right i'm getting two fire signs that you felt like you were gonna break but you but you didn't you stayed the course you didn't break god kept you okay hmm. there's a pathway that's illuminated for you and you've taken this pathway like i'm getting that there has been there has been a long road ahead and there's a pathway here and i'm seeing some fire signs standing at the front of the pathway and just like should i go down this way is it the way for me yeah it's the way for you okay but at this pathway there's a bridge okay there's a bridge and there's a lot of you who think that you're going to be persecuted all right you're going to be persecuted you feel like you're going to be persecuted you feel like woof. hold on now it is i know this is a new path but is it going to be like every other time that's what i'm seeing fire signs it's going to be like every other time that i just try to do something is it going to backfire on me is this going to be like one of those times from the past you know what i mean and you you need not worry about this you need not worry about this there's a you need not worry about this this nightmare card hold on one second there is something that has been plaguing you and it's just fear it's just fear of the unknown it's just fear of the unknown it's fear of um uncharted territories places that you haven't ventured before but you cannot have growth without chaos overstand that and so it's natural to feel a uh, natural hesitation about the way forward but when you feel a hesitation about forward and you feel a little bit of fear that means it's the right thing for you okay because the fear is letting you know that you really want it that is for you i know it sounds crazy but it's true like anything that we don't care about we don't care to go towards like we don't care we just whatever but when you feel a little bit fear about going forward it's a part of you that really cares about whether you succeed or not and so it's for you it's for you you have to push past that fear fear can be a good thing okay a lot of y'all y'all don't know how to rewrite the human aspects of what people believe that is negative and a lot of times the matrix in itself has made up this fear and has made it a negative thing and all you got to do is rewrite it for yourself what does fear mean to me when when i get a little scared and i get a little fearful to me i already rewrote I already rewrote fear, babes. Every time somebody, oh, you scared? Me? Fear in my dick in not my dictionary? Oh, fear means, ooh, that's exciting. You know why that's exciting? Because that means I'm being challenged. And I like to be challenged. Because when I'm challenged, I can grow. And I like to grow. I love challenges. I love puzzles. I love hard things. I love to overcome. So when I feel fear, ooh, it's a challenge. It's enticing to me right i am new to you appreciate you i want to ask if you offer free yes or no i want to say um nicole what's up girl i'm not doing free yes or no right now i'm just doing the fire signs i'm doing the signs at this time um but i do do them but i'm just not doing them right now honey period fear yes fear uh-huh absolutely false evidence appearing real absolutely that's a lot of times you guys don't understand that it hasn't even happened yet but you're already making the assumption that something's going to happen just rewrite it for yourself that's all rewrite it so then we got imprisonment out here right hmm <laughs> Now I need y'all to under or I need y'all to understand something about this. There's a there there is I appreciate you too, Jewel. It's all about beliefs. Thank you, for sure, for sure. See, for sure. 
Um, it really is. No lie. It really is. It's all about perception. All right. If you perceive it to be that, that's what it's going to be in the story. Um, but there's a lot of you that's in this imprison, imprisonment energy, right? You're in this imprisonment energy where you're you're in a mental prison. All right. Not for all of y'all, but for some of y'all. All right. There's a little there's a little angel on your shoulder, and then there's a little devil on your shoulder that's competing with you, right? And it's your old self and the person you're trying to be. And your old self doesn't quite align with your new self, and you're having a battle of the mind, a battle of the mind at this time, okay? That's why you're trying to make a compromise here. You're trying to make a compromise, all right? In your mind, there is no compromise. You need to fully align with who you're going to be. Stop battling your old self, all right? There's also somebody that's trying to reconcile with you, like a friend or a lover, somebody from your past that's trying to reconcile with you. And there's also someone here that is having nightmares about you. Nightmares about the things that they did to you. To stop. To try to stop you from getting what it is that is owed to you. Okay? Yeah. Alright. There's someone that's having nightmares. Why? Because your spirit team is whooping that ass. Whooping that ass. Yeah, okay. I'm also getting somebody that prayed. Prayed about it. Like, oh... Um, anybody who's coming against me, let them get what they deserve. I'm getting that too. Yeah, this person that you was dealing with are having is having nightmares, okay? They're having nightmares about what they did to you. Gratitude, Nicole, much appreciated. They're having nightmares about what the fuck they did to you, okay? They're mad. They in suffering, girl. They in, they in persecution, all right? This person is, is, is like under a rock. Under a rock, okay? This person's having nightmares. They're feeling like things is attacking them. Listen. They should never try to fuck with a chosen one. They tried it. They they tried it. <laughs> they they tried it, okay? Now they're trying to compromise. Also, I'm getting too that this person's trying to like... Trying to like spin the block. Like they're trying to like... <laughs> They trying to like, what's the word? They trying to compromise, make make pleas to the spirit. Like, no, I didn't mean to do that. Blah 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 blah. I didn't know better, etc. 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 But it don't matter because you did what you did. And now you must pay. Like you must pay now. It's time to pay. Oh, you don't have the funds. Well then, you gonna have to be in this energy. It is what it is. This person is also thinking about you right now. Thinking about you heavily. Alright. They're worried about you. Thinking about you. Oh. I wonder what Leo, Aries, Aries and Sagittarius is doing. I wonder. I wish I had them back in my life. Nobody was like them. Nobody was like them. Listen, that's their fucking luck, man. They should never treated you like this. Should never treated you like this. Mhm. Mm yeah, this person's an asshole. I've had fears of what could happen on a path based on what has happened to others who chose it. For sure. For sure. So this person had thoughts out here, right? They're thinking of you heavily, but listen, <clears throat> this person who you left behind, right? Or who left you or you left or whatever, you was a gift to this person, okay? The spirit brought you into this person's life to change them, to provide them with some blessing. Like you were a blessing. You were granted to them as a blessing. All right, but they stepped on you. Basically, they spit on God's face, and it was like mm, because they had their own traumas and their own 
insecurities and they didn't realize how much of a blessing you was but you have been brought into their lives to change their life in a positive way and they spit on they spit on god like they really did no lie all right and now they regretting it they they regretting it heavily that's why they having these nightmares now they in this nightmare energy they trying to make a compromise like please 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 ah i i I didn't know what I was doing. You knew what you was doing. You knew what you was doing. You did what you wanted to do. That's all that matters. And now you must pay. Okay? <laughs> now you must pay. You must pay. What? What the fuck? You must pay. What the fuck is this? <sighs> I'm not a fire sign. For sure, Caitlin. Listen, if you hear something that applies here, it applies. It's for you. All right, it don't matter. We all got all the signs in our chart. So we got marriage card out here too. Gratitude, Caitlin. I appreciate you. Yeah, this person was supposed to be a divine person, but listen, we have an abundance of soulmates. We have an abundance, so if one don't work out, the spirit just gonna vacuum that person up and get a get you a new one. Like, you know, you think you stopping a show over here, man? Cause you you didn't want me, or you didn't you didn't want to deal with the collective. It's just, there's a thousand of you. <laughs> you can be replaced. <laughs> don't think you do with me. Don't ever mind. Okay. Now they say, <laughs> yeah, vacuum they ass right back up. Shoom 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 back up in the universe. Bye. <laughs> yeah, making room, making room. <laughs> all right so we got daydream out here this person's daydreaming about you okay they daydreaming about what you were saying oh i'm also getting to that this person you told this person a lot of things like you said to them like things was not good about their family like their family was like unhealthy for them and you told them that a lot of their ways was unhealthy and the people that they had around them was like like not really had their best interests at heart and they didn't want to hear it they was like <sighs> they didn't want to hear it they didn't want to hear about this they didn't want to hear about none of this okay it was upset mm -hmm. now they sitting here daydreaming about how you was right because a lot of these things that you told them about themselves their family whatever came to fruition and they're like, dang, how Leo, Sagittarius, Aries was right. How they know? I should have listened to them, you know? Now they sitting here daydreaming, looking stupid. Terrible. Well, that's what you get. Too bad, so sad. Okay? Now they daydreaming. The only way they could get close to you is to have a fucking fantasy. And that's why I was saying they, they're pulling on your energy now. Okay? So, if you... If you haven't broken these ties, you need to. Okay? We also got the high honor card out here. All right. That's you. And high honor. So you could be a chosen a chosen one, a star seed, indigo child. Okay? You're held in high honor, high regard. All right? This pair you could be even be an earth angel like this person and treated the earth angel like shit. This heavy consequences for that. They treated a chosen one like shit. This heavy consequences for that. Okay? What? Why would you do something like that? You gotta be really fucked up to do some shit like this. For real. For real. Like, you wanted nothing but the best for this person. And he shitted on you. Well, because they got problems. Well, now they must pay. You gave me all the confirmation I need. Good. I'm glad, Ken. We got adventure out here, okay? With high honor. All right. The spirit is taking you on adventure. Like I said, it's your luxury season. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. You going up. You going up. You going up. Okay. They ain't stopping no shows over here. <laughs> Cause the spirit favors you you did everything right you did everything you were supposed to do and you waited your turn and now you are being rewarded this person on the other hand they're not doing too good sucks for them listen 
they could have been on the block with you spending that cash rising up but guess what they wanted to shit on you also i'm getting that this person thought that you wasn't like that you wasn't you know what it was too this person thought that you was like naive and gullible all because you had golden retriever energy you know what golden retriever energy is it's like you have like a childlike innocence about you but you're not stupid you you're not slow like you know what i mean you you just genuinely you just genuinely like align with the spirit so you got a light spirit about you you know what i mean you just don't let everybody see your hand you know how to play chess you know so but this person they not all right they look at things from an outside perspective so they feel like if somebody if they feel like if somebody like exhibits this behavior that they must be slow or something they, they must be they must be dumb like you know what i mean they just a person who looks at people's outside appearances and judge them you know what i mean but they thought you was like gullible but you not you just was watching their ass so that's why they treated you this way they thought they could get over on you but they ended up sadly mistaken because they didn't know you was highly favored and going to have a divine purpose and that's your abundance you was the abundance you was the key you was the gift okay period you they, you, they was a gift all right exactly i i say i let them i let them do what you want to do so i i see what you rather do do what you want to do so i see what you rather do then from there i can make my decision okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> you feel me gratitude aubrey yes i will be doing water signs i'm doing water signs right after this all right so yeah i'm about to wrap this reading up in a second so fire signs y'all want to bigger better waters like things are happening for you at this time there are some fire signs where your business are coming into you're about to have the first like big sale in your business okay there's some abundance that's just coming out of nowhere you guys are be about to be re reminded that there are miracles the spirit is about to show out for you at this time show out you about to be like hold on wait hold on where that come from i'm telling you you're gonna be rewarded this season so we got the house out here there's somebody that could be applying for a new house in the collective you're applying for a new house um you're you're moving to a new house or you're trying to get a new apartment or something and the spirit is saying it's yours this house that you're trying to birth is it's already here it's it's baking baby it's baking it's here it's here the blessing is here it's here it's here all right and then we got community out here too right so um there's somebody out there too who's been in contact with their spirit team all right you've been in contact with your spirit team your spirit has been making the, your spirit team has been making themselves more known to you either in the in the um hey jessica what's up your your spirit team has been making themselves aware to you like through your dreams showing you things okay they're letting you know that we're in alliance with you you gotta you gotta talk to us you gotta let us know you're not alone right yeah there's also some some fire signs too who are going to be meeting some solid ass motherfucking people this season i'm not talking about no fugazi people i'm not talking about no people that you can't trust for real i'm talking about you finna meet some people that you divinely aligned with that's finna have your back that's finna that's finna be a gift to you that's finna help you ascend like in the physical world people who have connections okay yes tasha this is a collective babes for fire signs but if you hear something that aligns with you then it's for you yeah you finna meet some people that you're like man i could get behind these people these people are real solid these people these people keep their word yeah you finna meet these people okay so fire signs when i talk about you're finna be blessed in all areas of your life that is facts you finna be blessed financially um finna have a lot of prosperity you finna have your home in order okay fire signs 
and you're finna have a community that actually supports you that you never had before whether that's in the spirit or the physical or both you know but you're finna find some people that that really fuck with you for real right all right let me wrap this up let me give you some advice fire signs and then we're gonna move on to water signs okay I'm gonna give you some advice first going forward mm -hmm. gratitude King J You're welcome, Renee. You're welcome. Let me give y'all some advice before y'all head up out here. Let's see what kind of advice the spirit has for you, okay? Let's see. Something that y'all been needing in here, okay? We may have. We may have. Yeah. If y'all here, y'all y'all part of my soul tribe. If y'all resonate with me, y'all part of my soul tribe. Gratitude, Nicole. I appreciate you. I am a Leo, honey. For sure, Sun 731. I appreciate you as well. Hey, Leo. A theory. Okay, I'm happy to see so many Leos up in here. <laughs> Y'all know we the sun. We get a, we give off that sun energy. All right, let's see what we got for Leo and Sagittarius and Aries. Let's see what we got for the fire signs. What advice we got? All right. So we got, <laughs> that's so funny. We got the card 33 out here. You see that? In Tankana, all right? It says, child of the light, okay? So let's read the advice spirit has for you. I'm reading it from the book, okay? <clears throat> Master third period. Okay, son, 731, I see you gonna change the world out here let me know when you come up okay so i can give you your flowers master number 33 period love that all right here we go y'all it says child of the lights there is a divine light that does not cast a shadow nor does it cast judgment even though it reveals truth a truth that is sometimes hard to acknowledge and requires that we change our ways. True divine light is healing. It is unifying. It brings hopes and illuminates the way. Others, other sorts of light exist on this planet that are not so pure nor so helpful. Those sorts of light may appear stunningly bright, yet in effect create separation and increase ego. You can recognize genuine divine presence, not by how dazzling it may appear at first, but by what your devotion to that divine light evokes in your heart and your world. Okay? The spirit says, trust your feelings over appearances. Move away from influences that create fear, negativity, or doubt in you. Reach out for that which uplifts you, your heart spiritual prote protection is being offered refuse to be dazzled by ego masquerading as something spiritual through your prayers and efforts spiritual light has been accu accumulating on the inner planes even though you may not sense that consciously as yet there will be an intersection of events and circumstances in your physical world through which the light shall pour forth and manifest itself as grace continue with your spiritual devotion there is something yet truly good to come of it okay 
Okay, spirit. Spirit, listen, spirit just confirms. All right. Something's happening. Something's happening for you, babes. It's happening. Don't be confused by false lights. Okay. Lead with your spirits. All right. I always tell you guys at the, I, I always tell you guys about when you listen to tarot and you listen to anyone's tarot reading. I don't care if it's me, whoever. A lot of a lot of tarot readers won't tell you this, but I always tell you at the beginning of my readings, like, listen, watch tarot responsibly. Okay, I am not God. The cards are not God, and anything if anything aligns with you here, you check with source first. You check with source first, first and foremost. Okay, so, but I can only tell you what's happening. Okay. Now we have 16 out here. Low, 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 low. Okay. Stand in the light. All right. Let's read what it says. It says, stand in the light. You are unique. You are a divine and beautiful being. You stand apart from the crowd. Sometimes this evokes jealousy or desire in others who want to possess your light and beauty as their own. You need never fear another or believe that they can harm you. Allow yourself to be true to who you are. Do not try to hide your inner light and beauty. You are meant to be seen. Your soul is nurtured and protected by your love for the divine. The spirit says, don't avoid the spotlight. Try to hide or dull your light to appease another of your fears or your fears. Your divine light and beauty are meant to help others. And the only way that can occur is if you allow yourself to express it fully. Do not shrink from your magnificence when you feel challenged. Instead, step into it to an entirely new level of boldness. You have a gentle nature, but you are strong. If you have become obsessed with the beauty or power of another, it's time to come back to your own divine beauty to unearth it, explore it, express it, and let it shine. Trying to bend, trying to blend in will drain the energy from you. Let those who are attracted to your light adapt to your level of divine expression. You are the benchmark and they will evolve to reach you, okay? Period. So that's what the, the spirit has to say for that. <sighs> Y'all got to be bold. Y'all got to stand in your power at this time. There's a reason why you went through all of this, okay? And it's not to stand in the background. It's not. It's not to stand in the background at all. It's to step four into your divine purpose, okay? And the last piece of advice we have is Anja Durga, okay? It says power of the good okay okay spirit says you are in, you need never lose faith in the power of good you need never lose faith in how much you can accomplish in this world you need you can uh, hold on you need never lose faith in how much you can accomplish as an independent and inspired individual in this world you need never believe that you are alone or without divine protection you need never fear evil the third eye of the divine mother sees all things is ever watchful and is ever just she births through bolt through holy vision and manifests power of good in all realms her gaze is upon you now trust her the spirit says, believe in the power of the divine to keep an eye on things for you. Trust that power to alert you when you need to know something or to understand that what is happening in your life and what you need to know. Even if you aren't sure of that yourself at times, actively contest negativity. When you feel something isn't coming from love, acknowledge it immediately. You don't have to make it about you or analyze it. Use the divine connection to deal with it promptly and effectively. Call for divine support in all things. You will not divert help from someone else if you ask for it for yourself. Allowing yourself to be helped empowers your path, which in turn helps all beings. Divine assistance is always there for you, unconditionally. If you're not thinking the best thoughts, divine support will support them. Never hesitate to call for that support. It is your greatest ally. Give up your attachment to the past. Okay. All right. Um, fire signs. Give up your attachments to the past. That's what the spirit is saying. Call on your divine team, your support system. If you don't have a physical support system in the 3D realm, you're always being guided in the spirit. Okay. 
a lot of y'all need to call on the spirit a little bit more because sometimes you forget that okay you forget <sighs> that's beautiful first of all what's happening here what is happening here okay interesting very interesting okay there we go I, I'm not sure I, I'm not sure why other tarot readers be coming on here asking people to follow them in my comments go do that over there the fuck <laughs> what, what? <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> see what I'm talking about it's the energy of thief that's what it's the E All right, that's what I got for you, um, fire signs. 